all it can and that layoffs are coming. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is in the Newsplex with more. And Jessica, next school year, the district will cut dozens of jobs. Many of those will be teachers. Morale among the employees is down. Los Luna Superintendent Bernard Sy says breaking the news to his employees is coming at a cost. Sy says the district is expecting a $6 million shortfall for the next school year. That $6 million funds everything. Um, it funds uh, utilities, it funds textbooks, it funds materials, it funds salaries. State lawmakers cut a million dollars from the district during the special session. More funding disappeared when about 100 students transferred out of the district. And finally, the district expected to see $4 million in federal funding. That's no longer coming. Right now, we don't know which positions are going to be cut. So everybody's wondering, is it going to be me? Is it going to be the teacher that teaches next door? 85% of the district's budget goes towards salaries. So science says they may have to lay off at least 40 people, including teachers. About 20 of those teacher positions will come from the high school level. They won't be needed with the new schedule. We've moved back to a six-period schedule for next year. The district also says it will be looking at trim elementary school positions. The news comes as a blow for one educational assistant. Now that I read that there's going to be more budget cuts, I'm still not going to get my position back. She says she was laid off at the beginning of this school year because of budget cuts. So she knows what's in store for the next round of layoffs. It's been hard. It's been really hard. It's, um, you're wondering um, if you're going to make it or where's your next meal going to come from. Or and with layoffs looming, some workers are questioning why a group of teachers and administrators are taking a trip to Chicago next week. The superintendent says the trip is a workshop to help bring up AYP scores and that the money for the trip is coming from grants and federal funds that cannot be transferred into the operational budget for salaries. Jessica. Okay, Crystal. Superintendent Sai says there's no formula for who will be cut first. The school board will meet again in the next few weeks to make a final decision on who will lose their jobs. Rand